Holy Spirit. Amen. The thought that Pastor Roy Sam was nothing but a fool. All right. Amen. That he just signed over his his death sentence. Hallelujah. Amen. A year passed. Uh, Praise God. God had healed my pastor yes. the heart condition. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Pastor Rams, amen, preaching like a teenager. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I got up. Amen. My heart right. pulled He went from there. Out, amen. He played golf and he played handball and he played tennis and he went to the gym, amen, every morning and he ran about five miles every morning, amen, and he lived life to the fullest. Uh -huh. Praise God. Amen. About a year later, there was a, an announcement placed in the Amarillo Globe News. Amen. Sixth anniversary service. Amen. A pastor in Mrs. Royce B. Elms at the First United Pentecostal Church. Hallelujah. Amen. Had the beautiful pictures, uh, smiling. Uh, Amen. Uh, Faces on, in the newspaper. Amen. And Larry Mosley just happened to have a newspaper that morning. Amen. And Larry Mosley saw, Amen, the anniversary services. Amen. Of my pastor and pastor's wife. All right. A year after. He was supposed to have surgery. And Larry Mosley looked at that and said, I got to look into this. Uh -huh. Amen. And so he and his wife went to the anniversary services. Amen. On that Friday night. And he looked up and he saw, amen, a, a man of God that had all the strength of a teenager. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise God. And he said, there's got to be something to this. Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah. walked up to, amen, my pastor after the service, and he shook his hand and he said, amen, pastor, I don't know if you remember me, amen, but I was in the same hospital room that you was in. And when you told that doctor that you was turning your situation over to a higher power, amen, a greater physician, I thought you were a fool. But apparently you know something about this God that I know nothing about. You told me about this God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. And passed around, right. began to go once a week. Amen. Over to Childress, Texas, which is about an hour and a half away. Amen. And teach Larry and Beth Mosley a home Bible study. Awesome. Awesome. It wasn't very long until after Larry Mosley and his wife Beth came to Amarillo to church. Amen. And Larry Mosley and Beth received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It wasn't long after that to right. Brenda. Amen. And Galen North. Amen. Uh, Sister Mosley's sister and brother-in-law. Amen. They received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Baptized in Jesus' name. Right. Come on. Come on. I'm telling you about the workings of God. Today. Yes. Amen. It wasn't very really long. Amen. That was Thursday night. Amen. We were driving to Childress, Texas. Amen. Starting. Amen. A brand new church in Childress, Texas. occurred. Yeah. All right. A man of faith uh, tell yeah. the surgeon yeah. Yeah. I'm trusting God. Uh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. 
God. Praise God. Larry Mosley, in time, was called to preach. He now pastors his own church. Hallelujah. God does great things. Amen. 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 He does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. I just want to tell somebody what will happen when you believe God. Yeah. When you begin having faith that God is doing the miraculous. All right. Not going to do. We're in the presence of the miraculous right now. Amen. 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 The presence of the Lord kill us. That's why we've got to be instant in season yes, out of season. Sir. That's why we got to be ready to move in the yes, Holy sir. Ghost yes, everywhere we go. Yes. Because opportunity lies. Opportunity is there right. everywhere All we right. go All for right. God to do yes, the miraculous sir. in our lives. Yes. And that through us in the lives yes. of God. spoke to me one morning when I was in Monaghan's, Texas. And I don't tell you this to give myself a pat on the back. Amen. I know who I am, but I know who he is. Right. It doesn't give me any glory at all, but it gives God all the glory. Yeah. The Lord spoke to me and said, I want you to be ready to pray everywhere you go. All right. Be prepared to pray. Yeah. That's good. Amen. So I got up that Saturday morning and my habit was Hey man, to go do my laundry. Hey man, I was living in Monaghan. Hey man, I would go do my laundry in Odessa. Praise God. And so I, as my, my habit is, I like to wear comfortable clothes. I like to walk around in clothes. I feel like I'm in pajamas. <laughs> hey man, so I was in my wind, one of my wind suits. Uh, praise God, it's nice, casual. Praise God, the early, beautiful Saturday morning. Hey man, I walk into the laundry mat, put on a load of laundry. And as my habit is, amen, I always have a pen and paper, amen, and I'm always trying to write stuff, or I'm writing a poem, or I'm writing out a message, or I'm writing something, amen, and for some reason I didn't have my notepad that day, but I had my Bible in the car. Uh -huh. So I went to the car and I got my Bible out, I was just going to sit down, I was going to read my Bible, amen, while my skimmy was being washed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. All right. Amen. I was about to sit down in one of those little round tables. And this little short Hispanic lady, probably approaching 60 years of age. Amen. She stopped me and said, are you a preacher? I said, as a matter of fact, I am. I'm an evangelist. And she said, oh. Amen. And she looked at me like, whatever that is. <laughs> so I explained to her what evangelist was. Right. I travel around and I preach for various churches. Amen. And God opens the door. Right. Praise God. And she said, do you believe in prayer? Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Yes, sir. Do you believe God? Can you pray right now? Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. Uh, Friend of mine, yeah. we got a habit of telling people we'll pray for them. Oh, uh, yeah. We do too. Uh, we'll preach while I'm here. Come on. Yes, Amen. Will you pray for me? And we say, oh, yeah, we'll put you on my prayer list, but no, you don't have a prayer list. Right, right. Amen. You got to start one to have one. Yeah. Praise right. God. And so most of us don't have a prayer list. I don't have a prayer right. list. Right. Right. Amen. So when I tell people I'm going to pray for you, I'm not waiting till tomorrow, right. friend. You right. ask me to pray for you, I'm touching you right now. I'm praying right. for you right now. Right. Hallelujah. Right. God said, be ready to pray for them. I'm ready to pray. Yes. I'm not going to embarrass nobody. I'm not going to scream, jump, hard, or run around, united. Amen. I'm going to not going to run around H-E-B, praise God, or Walmart. Amen. But I will take you by the hand, and I will say in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. if they choose to start shouting out that bitch. Yeah, come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Yes, yes sir. Praise God. And this little Hispanic lady, amen, she said, you believe God is here? You pray right now? Uh-huh. I said, absolutely. And so she started, a, she had her own prayer list. Amen. First off, it was her husband. I need you to pray for my husband. That's generally the top, first one. Amen. Uh, I need you to pray for my husband. I think the husband needs need you to pray for my wife. Amen. Amen. Sir, Get right. on my nerves. Amen. Amen. Pray for God. Yes, Thank sir. you, Jesus. Pray for my husband. Oh, he won't let me pay my tithe like I'm supposed to. Woo. Amen. So I said, okay, we'll pray about that. Then she said, pray about this. I had friends and relatives and she had a list. Amen. About arm's length. Amen. I said, well, don't we just put all, all those prayers in a dirty laundry basket and let's send the dirty laundry up to heaven. Amen. And God will wash them. Hallelujah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Then this got a little personal. And she said about two years ago that she had been in a car wreck. 
Amen. It messed up her shoulder. Amen. She couldn't lift her arm, her right arm, no higher than this. Amen. She showed me I couldn't lift her no higher than this. Amen. She said, will you pray for me? And I said, I will indeed. Amen. I reached over and I touched her shoulder. I said, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. She started flapping her arm. I'm like, woo. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And I laundry that. Lord, I'm trying to <laughs> She looked down and she said, you know, I got this knot on the back of my wrist here. Praise uh, God. And you can see it protruding out about the size of a, uh, amen, a medium-sized marble sticking out there. She said, amen, would you pray for that? Amen. I just told her, I touched on the back of the hand. Praise God. That in Jesus' name. Amen. Instantly, she turned back like it was on fire. Then she looked down and said, it's gone. Praise God. It's gone. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you. She said, will you pray for Mother Show? <laughs> I said, man, you're going to have a full body massage, which I'll say, no, Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. I serve a God right now, yes, right sir. now, right now. Right now, right now God. God. Yes, sir. Hey, Amen. At any given moment, now, any please. given second, now, any please. given opportunity. Now, hey, Amen. Well, I'm just going to just tell you like it is. Now, please. God is more interested physically All right. on people out there yes, sir. than he is in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Honest truth. All right. That's Honest right. truth. That's right. That's right. We're sealed unto the day of redemption. Yes, sir. We're saved. All right. Hallelujah. Come on. I preached it last night in my home church. Amen. The simple fact is this. Whatever problems you may have in this journey to eternity All right. are minute yes, sir. Yeah, they are. compared to somebody All right. that if they die five seconds from now will go to an eternal hell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't care what your problem is. That's a problem. I don't care if it's financial, physical, emotional. Yes. I don't care what it is. All right, come on. Whatever problems we might have are very minute to compare to somebody that doesn't know truth. Yes, sir. Come on. That's right. Yes, That's sir. right. My gosh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're all on level ground. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Amen. God, amen. Somebody's financial status all right. doesn't move God. Not at all. When they die, guess what? They're no richer than I am. Right. Naked came I into the world. Yeah. Yeah. Naked shall I go. Here we go. Yeah. Huh? Yes, sir. Amen. And so that person out there that needs God, that person out there that's lost, that person out there that doesn't know what you and I know. All right. Amen. It doesn't matter if they're millionaires, billionaires. It doesn't matter if they got fame and their names are up and amen, the marquees. It doesn't matter. Amen. What status they are. It doesn't matter how many fans they have. All it right. doesn't matter. Amen. If they are not right. baptized in All Jesus' right. name. Right. Amen. Come receive on. the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. If I speak in another tongue. Amen. They are lost. Amen. The difference between them and us. Amen. Is that we know the truth. to our world, right. no matter what status quo. Right, right, right. Yeah. Amen, I've got, and you have what they need. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Praise God. Yes, Hallelujah. Oh, God, that's right. And I preach to us tonight, in conclusion, that we are so much better off yeah. than anybody else yes, sir. on the outside of the church. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Safe. Yeah. Safe. Yeah. The safety in the ark of God. Oh, 
All right. Uh -huh. There's safety in this house. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to make a difference Amen. in somebody's life. Amen. While I have an opportunity. All right. Amen. After pastoring, amen, in, in Plainview, Texas, for a season of time, amen, I've been gone for, for many years now from pastoring that church. But I had a young lady in that church by the name of Peanut. Her nickname was Peanut. <laughs> Simply because she was no bigger than a peanut. When she was small, she grew up. No, never mind. Pray. <laughs> And I've changed her nickname now. Amen. Ain't peanut no more. Amen. How old? She got another shape of a peanut. Amen. Totally. Never mind. Uh -oh. Different story on you. Amen. After a long period of time, she called me up one day, or rather, did call me up. She sent me a message. A man on, on Facebook, private message, and said, said her brother, he man was in the hospital in a coma. Name was Mario. And the diagnosis was not good. He was already a paraplegic, been shot, in a gang related incident. He met a bullet pierced his spine and he would be crippled for the rest of his life. He met now because of bad drugs. Somebody had gave him an overdose. He met us some bad, bad meth or whatever it was, Aaron, I don't know. But it was a bad drug. And he slipped off into a coma. He bad and the diagnosis was not good. They expected him to die. And when she called me or sent me a text and talked to her later on the phone and she was weak and said, Mario's not going to live. They give my brother no hope to live. He said he's never going to wake up from a coma. That in time we're just going to have to take all the things off of him and let him go. He said, Pastor, I know you pray. Pastor, I know you know how to get a hold of God. Will you come to Plainview and pray for my brother? I actually love him. Lived in Plainview. Would you come to love him and pray for my brother? I said, absolutely. Amen. So I drove from Monahans. I believe I was at Monahans at that time. I drove from Monahans to love him. Walked into, amen his room, all of his sisters was gathered around, some nieces, and nephews was gathered around. Amen, they greeted me, some of them remembered me. They remember from years past. Praise God, they met me with smiles, crooked smiles, praise God, because they didn't know whether to believe or, or what was gonna happen. Do we not know a God. Yes. Come on. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, we do. Oh, that we can step out there. Yeah, we got. We can step out there. Amen. Yeah. Let me give you a little revelation. I might have preached it before. I don't know. But let me just give you a little revelation. When Peter saw Jesus walking on the water, and Jesus said, it is I, be of good cheer. But Peter said, Lord, if it be thou bid me come to thee on the water. The Lord said, come on. Yeah. And when Peter stepped out of that boat and began to walk on water, uh -huh. Jesus, Peter wasn't just walking on water, he was walking on the word. Yes, yes sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. He wasn't just walking on water. He was walking on the words Amen. of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Jesus on. said, come on. Yes, sir. Get out of the boat, Peter. Right. Right. You can walk on water. Yes. One, because I said you can. Yes, sir. The only reason Peter walked on water was because Jesus said, come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's right. You know the reason why we can heal? You know the reason why we can cast out devils? You know why the reason why, amen, we can take up serpents? Come on. 
you know why? Because Jesus said so. Yeah. Amen. And that's the only reason we came. Right. Praise right. God. Right. Amen. And so when I walked in that hospital.